Hey guys, it's Steve. We are doing our Buick three point liter project here. Um, initially, when I pulled this vehicle in, it was ticking. It's obviously looking cool, and it's leaking oil. This car's got 240,000 miles on it. Um, you know, realistically, could it probably use a whole refresh? Yes. It's just the guy is the other going back and forth to work. I'm not worried about it. we're just gonna do a head gasket swap on this and call it a day um, the noise initially sounded like it was the lifters um, which I wouldn't be surprised we have a lot of blow by going through the intake and right now this whole intake tube is full of coolant so that's just you know great um, I'm gonna recommend that we definitely uh, replace the lifters um, as far as diagnosing the head gasket is concerned though the best steps you want to do is compression check Check all, all your cylinders, um, check your fluid, check your oil and your coolant. Um, normally, what is going to be the case, and it doesn't happen all the time, but normally your case is the oil and coolant are going to mix at some point. So on this one in particular, it uh, this is probably one of the better examples, I hate to say it, but uh, I'm going to show you real quick here. As far as tools go, um, this has been one of my favorite purchases so far. It is the uh, my Dewalt Impact Driver. Um, as far as sockets and everything goes, um, most of my tools are snap-on, I'll admit. Um, these are actually my favorite sockets I've ever owned in my entire life. They are mid-length impact uh, snap-on sockets. Um, I'll never go back. <laughs> it has changed my life. It is my go-to socket for sure. All right. Oh, that's just, that's just lovely. I mean, look at the goo in this thing. I mean, that is just, I mean, it's, 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 it's obviously been leaking for a while. I mean, this is, this is a severe issue here. Um, but as far as the valve train goes, <laughs> Um, excuse me, let me wipe this off before I, uh, get my camera here dirty. It's, it's pretty goopy. It's, uh, it's been leaking for a while, but I mean, this is, this is the telltale sign right here. When you start seeing milk, um, you, you've had oil and coolant mixing. Um, this has obviously been leaking for quite some time, so, uh, as far as the next steps are concerned, um, I've, I've already done uh, the initial, you know, take a few things off like the air box and different things. I am going to remove the intake up here. And then after that, I'm going to go, once we remove the intake, I'm going to go and show you guys more in depth on what to do after that. Um, you know, as far as when it comes to rockers and push rods and the lifters. Um, so... The next step, uh, we're going to be taking the intake off, and uh, I'll see you guys in a few. 